Oh, hi. When you're a fan of Lego, you're usually a fan of small things, you know. Uh, micro machines, miniatures, stuff like that. I grew up on those things before I really became obsessed with Lego. Anyway, so, you know, what's better than a, 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 a giant Batmobile collection? A minifigure scale Batmobile. Bat Take two. Batmobile collection. Well, I went over that. It was only like four, maybe five or six if you counted a couple other things. But what's better than that is a miniature Batmobile collection. So when I came across one, realized I had another, I went and scoured the internet to make sure I could get my hands on any and all. Well, not any and all. Some of them were based on Batmobiles I could really care less about. But for the majority, I would like to see how many of these I could get. And unfortunately, some of them they have never built in this particular scale, but got what I could. Uh, starting with, I don't know what this one's technically based on. I think they just called it the DC Superheroes. But the reason I got this one is because it was the close enough for me to the animated series Batmobile. So I really like the sleek, and everything's all dusty around here. I really like the sleek design of this one, and it reminds me a lot of the uh, animated series Batmobile, which is still to this day my favorite Batmobile. So I really like this particular little Batmobile. And then I discovered they made a few, a few from the Lego Batman movie. Because, of course, you have his classic Batmobile with the, with the, and you could even, like, move, oh, you can't, well, I mean, I could if I took it off and then you could make it, you know, up higher. So, I could really dig, they really got the aesthetic in this scale from how it is in the film. Who never does his taxes, Batman? Oh, but, yeah, so that's pretty gnarly. So I thought that was pretty cool. I kept a piece count of all of them. I don't need to go over that right now, but it's fascinating how some have a lot more than others, but they're all pretty much the same size. So then, of course, take a look at the Batwing, uh, and then you've got, yeah, this, you know, I like, you know, because he could like, you know, I really liked the full scale one that I had that's in pieces in a box somewhere, because you really could like put him in like, you know, creature mode running around, but of course, it's your traditional uh, Batwing from the... Lego Batman film, which I think is pretty gnarly. I like that you can at least, you know, pretend like it's doing the little, I'm your pet thing, you know, like when he made him run away and stuff. So that was pretty cool. So I like that. But then, of course, at the end of the film, when they all combine their powers and built together, they made the ultimate Batmobile. Now, this one has two other builds where you can make it one of the little, like, tank things, kind of, like, inspired from, uh... Dark Knight Returns, or whatever the heck it was. Anyway. Um, or you could also make it into one of the, like a miniature, like a smaller, slightly smaller scale than this Batwing. But this, I think is pretty gnarly. It gets the aesthetic of how they built it completely in the finale of the film. Spoiler alert. And then you have multiple seats for the different characters, like uh, Batgirl and Robin. So yeah. Lovely. And then, you have what is up there. I mean, you've got the, the animated series, and then you've got the Tumblr. Man, wouldn't it be cool if they made a Tumblr in this scale? Yeah, it would. They'd probably be like, how? How would you do that with all the... Yeah, anyway. But they don't. Um, but between the Tumblr, the animated series, and Justice League, it's a toss-up. Those three are my favorite Batmobiles. I'm kind of at a crossroads of which is which. But this one, this one might be taking the cake. Uh, over the Tumblr, at least. The Justice League Batmobile is really freaking gnarly and awesome, if you ask me. I've said before, I'm not really into cars. So it has to look, like, really cool or sleek or futuristic or alien-like for me to be like, whoa, that's a really cool car. So when you consider the things that jump out at me on regular cars, this has all the aesthetics 
for a Batmobile to jump out at me as far as its design. So, yes, probably the only Batmobile with, with guns, but, you know, what are you going to do? He's uh, older and smarter. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I really like, I like that. So I was like, man, I want to get any and all that I can. And I did my best. But this all started when I stumbled upon this and bought it, of course, before I saw the film and became less of a fan of it. But it's a Batmobile. I mean, it's just a car. It's just a muscle car, really. But it's a Batmobile. It had a pretty cool chase sequence. I do. I'll, I'll give that movie one credit. It was the pretty, pretty, not every day do you see a chase sequence in the middle of uh, freeway traffic, especially in a Batman or comic book film. Usually they're going through Lord knows what or where there's clear way. But to see like a high speed car chase where they're weaving in and out of traffic on the freeway was pretty awesome. However, having said that. I did notice the speedometer said 90 miles an hour. I don't know if you can really weave through traffic that well at 90. But I digress. Let's not forget that that movie was completely ridiculous while pretending to take itself seriously and asking you to do the same. But don't get me started. This is my uh, miniature scale Batmobile collection. So far, I would like them to make more, especially any that they have yet to make. I want myself a tumbler in this scale. I want myself a classic Adam West Batmobile in this scale. Heck, are they ever going to make a Lego Batmobiles from, from, from Batman Forever and Batman and Robin? Probably not. I don't really care. Those are my least favorite Batmobiles, even though they're two of my... Well, one of them is one of my favorite Batman movies, but... Like, I hate uh, Batman and Robin... Batmobile. The Batman Forever one's slightly better, but still pretty much the same. But I doubt they'll ever make any. Yeah. Because nobody cares. Nobody hates those. But, uh, yeah, I'm surprised that they haven't made this kind of scale for the Tim Burton Batmobile. So come on. Let's get on it. Everybody likes Batman, right? Apparently. Okie dokie.